hai quá nó nó kia này ngà là một bố già ngàn bố già quốc một quốc bố già nhưng ngà bố già quá giặc bố già nó nó kia này ngà là cung bà my name is Richard Wally I'm a part of this country here where my people have been for thousands of years it's a Nyungar country and Nyungar is a language and in this Nyungar language country area there's a what we call Wajak which I'm connected to which is the Perth region Perth is traditionally known as Bulu and this area we're sitting on now is called Karakumba or a hill of significance place of significance and uh, when we we talk about our country we talk about our animals and our plants there's a lot of different the traditional trees that have been here for uh, for thousands of years. And Baralga is one of the prominent ones, uh, one of many. The Baralga, we call it Baralga, known as fire tree. It's got many, many uses. And it's also linked in, right from the start from the dreaming stories. There's stories that are, that, that are told from the dream times that also have morals about them, that link things like birds and other, other animals to the plant, uh, as well as people. Our world, the Aboriginal world, sees and feels energy first. We feel a person's energy and see their energy and feel that energy. The second part we see and feel is the person and their essence. Now the difference between the energy and their essence, of course, is the energy is a feeling. The essence is, is about how they react and, and, and how you react towards them. And the third one we see is the gender. So it's neither male nor female. So when you meet someone else, you have that respect for them in a spiritual sense first. Secondly, you see them as people, people you're going to get along with or not. Then thirdly, you see the gender. Whereas in the Western world, it's the other way around. The first thing you see is opposite sex. But in our culture, it, um, it goes beyond that. It, it's about the essence first. As we were kids growing up in the bush, the balga was uh, very very good to burn and it, it'll smolder quite slowly and and it also gave this nice aroma out about it there was this uh, i suppose you call it an allurement or, or a scent um, we call it a kanya or the spirit or the attraction what it does if you want you apply it onto yourself it reacts to the body if you walked past someone that you were attracted to you'd give this scent off so it's very animalistic and people knew when someone's attracted to someone else. Well, this was our link to that animal essence by using the barga. It, it's a natural essence. So it, it's a gift to us all. It's there to get to the pure essence of who you are and send your sensual energy out. <laughs>